Hey everyone and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Grim Cinderella Challenge. This is part 24. I'm adjusting my headphone. Let me screw around with that for a second. Hoo-ha! Yay! Professionalism! So Maggie is still cooking up some deliciousness. Now, you'll notice that um, Maggie and Anson have gone through. They've cleaned up all of the cobwebs. And I realized that I had fenced in the ladder here, so they should be able to get up here, no problem. Um, yeah, now they should be able to get up here to this part of the library. Which is cool, because I like this part of the library. And as you can see, as a surprise, um, Anson came in and he, like, Maggie sort of divulged her history to him a little bit. They had a little bit of a conversation and he's sort of heard rumblings in town. They don't have a lot of money. There wasn't much he could do, but he went in and he painted her floors and he knitted her because he's very handy and crafty. Um, actually, once I have enough points for him to get um, the, the rebel influence, I'm going to go ahead and get him handy because I originally wanted to do that for him because you can make your prints however you want, but I'll wait till I save up the points. But yeah, he came in and he made it really nice for her and he fixed up the walls. He had some old denim lying around and he dyed it and cleaned up all of these curtains that he found in the basement. Well, in the attic crawl space, they don't have a basement. And, um, yeah, Maggie and he went through and they cleaned up all of the cobwebs. And then he went ahead and re-wallpapered and, um, re-tiled the bathroom. And he cleaned up and painted the, um, toilet. And he got the downstairs toilet all set. And that's all cleaned up. And he found a shower, um, really dirt cheap. So he went ahead and did that too and found this blind blind. So yeah, he's trying to fix it up nice, but the first thing he wanted to do was surprise Maggie with the updated bathroom and her bedroom, which is light and airy and should in no way remind her of her hellish experience uh, living with her old family. So there you have it. Oh, and I realized, first of all, that I'm my chair is ah, on my pant leg. And uh, beyond that, I didn't set my timer. So let's do... Yay, there we go. So yeah, let's play. Um Oh, no. <laughs> it's because I put Sandra's grave down. Are you still cooking? Nope. I also put down the Wait, where did that go? Go ahead and serve that rye bread that I asked you to serve. Um so, yeah, I put down the thing so they can have a vehicle. I couldn't afford motorcycles for them both, but they can fix up this car together. And another thing is Anton went through, he fixed all of the fences, he got some of the rust off of, like, some of the gates are still rusty, but he got the rust off of some of them. And um, then he put down these new Bougainvillea uh, trees, and he went over and got a cutting from the uh no he didn't get a cutting dirt he got a new tree in order to put down for sandra's grave just as maggie has expressed she likes it now she glitched what's going on here i think she needs to be reset maggie meryl i think it's is it two r's no, I think it's two R's. Yes. That Sim Maggie Meryl. Okay. Let's try this again. Serve, I guess, let's try serving chocolate chip cookies. How's that? Let's see if that works. And what's Anson up to? Anson is still sleeping. Our little guy is still sleeping. So, okay. And she wants to buy a TV. We can get a TV. Hopefully this stove isn't glitched. That would suck. Let's see if this works. There we go. She's still doing. I think it must have been she just needed to be reset. 
And she doesn't work for another couple days. So she's got those cookies. She's going to kick it up a notch. And then, um, yep, put away the leftovers. And then, yes, you may, in fact, come on out here and work on the car engine. Turn on the radio. What's her favorite music? She likes Roots. So let's go ahead and change this to... to... Roots. And she's just gonna work on that. And I keep forgetting to remove that fog emitter. Nope. How are we doing? He's like, it's dark. This sucks. This is balls. I don't like it. We're just gonna let Anson sleep a little bit longer. And then we just have a little bit more we've got to teach little Casper. And he will age up well. Oh wait, nah. No, don't work on car until it's complete. That would be bad. But she's got music she likes to listen to. She wants to buy a hot tub. We're not getting a hot tub. You know what? This is gonna bug me with the fog emitter. Let's go ahead. Bonk. Goodbye. <laughs> Yeah, he even um, he even fixed the outdoor water feature out here. There's a nice water feature that's all fixed up. Everything's everything's coming along nicely. Everything's looking pretty because he he definitely wanted to help out. He's a decent dude. Okay, why don't you come on over and feed him on the floor? Cause he's gonna cry. Go on. Maggie's gonna work on getting us a car. You're okay, Casper. You're okay. Why don't you go eat something? We're not getting a hot tub, you two. We can get a TV though, most definitely. You are absolutely fine. There we go. Play with Riley. Go ahead and clean this up, please. And I didn't test the routing, so come on in here and let's see how things are with this toilet. Use the toilet. Maggie's like, I am tired and I am hungry. Why don't you go eat? We're going to turn off the radio. There we go. How's our little guy? We broke it off with you, Davy. Davy Cho is not interested in fixing it. We broke it off with you. Who are you? He's deluding himself. Alright, you need to teach Casper. Do we need to teach him anything? Oh no, he's good. He's totally good. So, yeah. Yeah, we're all set with that. Okay. So he's eating. He's hanging out a little bit. He's hanging out in the same room with Maggie. Now the consensus seems to be that Maggie should go for... Uh, should go for uh, Anson. I know his muscles are very defined. Some of you expressed that that was odd to you. <laughs> She's like, I gotta wash the dishes, I'm sorry. And then I am so tired. Alright. Yep. Eat up. Why don't you talk to him? Um funny. Show him a funny video. Before you go to sleep. And she's gonna have to prepare a meal using okay, are you that tired? I think she's very tired. Let's try this though. Go ahead. Let's see. Yeah, be talked to. We can do this. Okay, go to sleep then. No, but don't don't sleep in his bed. <laughs> this is your beautiful room. Set bed ownership, Maggie. Sleep. Okay. Now, we want to have him try to steal something, so... Now, some of you said it can't be on a community lot. 
So that poses an interesting challenge. Um, because I don't think he knows anybody in town. Anson isn't from this town. So, hmm. Let's just go over. Go visit the Merrill household. He's heard about Maggie's family. He wants to go size them up. Maggie's gonna be here. So she can handle anything that arises with the baby. Oh, there's Liza. Let us in. Always fighting. Always fighting. Oh my god. Oh man. Wait outside. Be invited inside. No, you're not meant to be. He is attractive, and she is attractive. She's very beautiful. She's just horrible. Um, okay, so let's wait till he's in. He wants to go watch TV. Um, swipe something. Can't swipe anything while being watched. So, go swipe something. I just want to see how this goes. Steal something in this house. You do that. You gonna steal something weird? You should steal that computer. What did he take? Swipe someone's porch light. Swipe another thing. You're gonna steal that clock. You're taking the weirdest stuff. Did he take that? Yes. Go ahead and swipe. Wait, wait, wait. I lied. Or is he gonna do it anyway? I was gonna say, let's go upstairs. You're gonna swipe that. What did he take? That chandelier. Oh, you're so weird. And you can't steal anything else. Yep. It's only three times a day. Okay, go home. <laughs> He's like, so, it was nice to meet you. I'm just gonna go back home. Yeah. See ya. <laughs> and is it in the family inventory? Must be, right? How's baby doing? Baby needs to go potty. But he's okay. Okay, so we just got home. You're gonna get wet, but you need to go out and uh, take care of your garden. So, wait, this one. We can't weed? Okay, go talk to your plants then. Go talk to your plants. There we go. There we go. Did he go potty? Yeah, he's using the potty. He's gonna go play with that. Okay, you play with that. He ages up in four days. Good thing he's a heavy sleeper. I love heavy sleeper sims. It can be kind of a wasted trait, but at the same time it can be pretty useful. I think we're gonna get a lot of ghosts on this lot. I get that sense. He's wet, so we probably shouldn't have him work on the car. But what we should have him do is... Oh, return stolen item. No way. No way. Let's go and do our family storage. So we have this lovely chandelier. Okay, so let's put down the porch light. Can't go there. But he... he <laughs> I think he takes, he'll take great pleasure out of just knowing that it's around. He's going to put it back into this, like, little secret room so that Maggie doesn't know. He's like, oh no, it's just it's the closet. It's... There's no chandeliers or wall lights or anything like that. What are you, what are you talking about? 
You're talking crazy talk. And he's just going to put all of his stolen possessions up in the attic. Is this too tall? Can't intersect other objects. Yeah, I think it's too tall. So what we'll do is we'll put it out here in the front yard. And Meg will be like, oh, I used to have something like that at home. It was, it was nice. He's like, yeah, it was, it was nice. It was very nice. What's he going to do? He's going to attack the baby with the claw. You're going to get the baby all wet. Aww. And how's he doing? Yeah, he's going to put him in the crib. And then, why don't you... Wait, leave him alone. If you're going to put him in there, leave him in there. <laughs> you know what? I tell you what. Why don't you go ahead and feed him on the floor just so we can cap off that that uh, need. There we go. He's like, that is nasty. Return stolen town clock. You don't want to do that. He's like, I so do. Alright, come on up here. And... Um, change diaper. And then put Casper in his crib. And yep, Anson's got a lot of repairs he wants to make. Wants to fix everything up. Right now, he's gonna go on in. Use the toilet. Oh, he's gonna clean it. Use the toilet. Take a bath. And he's gonna have a nighttime snack before he goes to sleep. Leisure Day is here, so they should all go to the festival. I think that sounds really good. She wants to buy a planter bowl. We can, we'll do that another time. You can't throw a pool party, you don't have a pool. So yeah, we're gonna let Anson get a little bit of rest. We'll have him sleep to, to about like 3 o'clock, and then we'll all go. And that should work out for a little guy too when he goes to sleep. She's gonna get up. And go ahead and take, use the toilet and take, oh, well, she's going to want to clean that. She won't like bathing in it while it's dirty. And yeah, he's going to sleep until about 2.30, which works out perfectly. He's pretty hungry, though. You're sleepy. Go to sleep, baby. Go to sleep, little Casper. Yeah, see, he, he fixed up all the porcelain fixtures. Clean Schmidt's clawed toe. Yeah, we can do that. And we can get a TV today. We can afford a TV. Actually, let's do that while I'm thinking about it. Okay, so... Our hangout room is kind of here. But... We could put the urn... Hmm. Where can we put this urn? I keep thinking it's up on the mantle because of the way it's it's uh. Is that, go ahead and put that there. We're not gonna dispose of anybody's or, or uh, ashes, but we're gonna get rid of the coffee table and we're gonna put a TV right here. And we need something that stands up. That's expensive, though, so we don't want something too expensive. We'll get this this retro TV. That leaves one square on that side, so they should be able to... Actually, you know what? We'll angle it. Oop. Nope, that won't work. That won't work, so... Problem solving. Get out there. You're going to put that there. We're going to put... Well, we got to move this. Boom. We can put that there. And I wonder... We're just going to tuck that right in there. There we go. Now they have a TV. Huzzah. 
And yes, Anson's ne pro next project is going to be to fix all of the windows and just make sure that everything is closed up and safe before the weather gets too cold. Right now it's warm, so they're good. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Silly face. And she wants to prepare a meal, so we'll have her do that. But she needs to do it on the stove. So serve some pancakes for breakfast. Speed this up while she does her thing. Gets that all taken care of. I should get them a food processor too. Food processor makes for much better meals. So I'm going to do that while I'm thinking about it. It's the build by mode special. Um, and just get the Norda chop. Yeah, that works. Ba bing, ba boom. There we go. And this should satisfy that want. And then as soon as it's done, I always like to have them. Uh, ew, it's an electric stove. Nah. Um, I always like to have them kick it up a notch because it's very helpful. But. She's going to actually grab a plate first. Don't do that. Don't grab a plate. Kick it up a notch. Then grab a plate. Go ahead. Yay! <laughs> There's a sim fest at Mixmaster. Put away leftovers when you're all done. And then answer phone. I wasn't happy about whatever that was. Alright, clean this up, please. Is there anything that needs... Okay, she's going to tidy up the house beforehand. She doesn't mind doing all of this. This is... There's a, there's a difference here. It's not that she's sort of their servant. She's doing this because she takes pride in her home. Because this is where she's going to build her life with Casper. And, you know, Anson is making that easier by helping to make this place really special for her. Alright, while you're out here, go mourn. And then go back inside. She still has the clean house option. Oh, she's going to make his bed because he's awake. Okay. He wants to join the criminal career. Maybe we can do that. I don't know. We'll see. I can't believe it's raining. I want them to go to the summer festival when it's raining. And we can't take the baby if it's raining. So we'll probably call... You know, we'll still be friends with Seneca. Um, but we'll probably call a babysitter. Actually, you know, I think we'll do that after you finish chatting with him. We're going to call a babysitter. And then Anson and, um, and Maggie are going to hit the town. It's raining, but they both want to go to the festival, so I'm I'm satisfied enough with that. We just need like six thousand um six thousand points. Actually, you know what? Let's get you set up. Listen to Tabcast. We're gonna listen to gardening. I love how they're happy that it's leisure day and it's like supposed to be a nice day and the weather is just bull. The weather is bull. It's awful. What's he going to do? He's going to go toss the baby in the air. Mr. Casper. Oh, he's sleeping. Why do you got to do this? Well, you know what? You may as well feed him. Oh, wait. Nope. Um, we're going to call a babysitter. Let's call. Put Casper in the crib. He wants to read a book about gardening. Um, we'll put that in there instead. And, okay. Visit with Maggie. You and the mags are going on over. Man, everything in this house is just such a mess. But Anson's going to get it taken care of. He's going to get it cleaned up. I mean, this is his home, too. Oh, man, I missed a friggin'... I swear, I miss all the freaking, um... Oh, that's close to their house. 
yeah, I I was like, oh, I'm gonna get all these cobwebs, and I, seriously, I keep missing them. It's it's almost as as it is in real life, and it's driving me bananas. So go ahead and show him a funny video. Let's see if this works. Some text to her. Um, what's this? Take a greeting card picture. We can do that. <laughs> and we're gonna take a greeting card photo with Anson. Oh, Elizabeth is here. Elizabeth, what are you doing? Elizabeth is sneezing, apparently. So, okay, that satisfied that want. And we're not going to share that on the wall, because I'm not even online. He wants to get his face painted. We can conceive of the It's expensive, though. Get face painted. Why are you heckling her? Don't even. Don't even. He's going to heckle Elizabeth. That's different. Oh, is Elizabeth working here? Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Go ahead and get a pirate. What's happening here? You don't want to get your face painted again. <laughs> You had your face painted already. I want you two to hang out. So while he's doing that, come over here and pick this sulfur. He's spending money on getting your freaking... Ugh, you two. Where did he go? Okay, he's almost done. Yep, looking like a pirate. Alright, come on over here and funny show internet cats video. You two stop it with the face painting. Is the babysitter there? Is Casper gonna die? Because <laughs> that would suck. Um, funny. Tell a funny story. We're gonna try to build up this relationship. I can't believe he heckled her, though. I hate when Sims do these random things that always kind of end up being OOC. It's really obnoxious. But we're just going to keep building that relationship. There we go. <laughs> Goof around. Make a silly face. Let's slow this down. Alright. And then we're going to go ahead and she's going to compliment him. They're both standing in the rain. Oh, it's a date now. Flirtatious joke. I know the joke part kind of resets them. He's into it. Let's see if this amorous hug flies. She wants to send him a text. You can send him a dirty text. She's like, I gotta pee, hang on. Hold that thought. I'm gonna go pee. Why are you getting your face painted again? Stop wasting our money with this face painting malarkey. I thought he broke the face painting thing, but no. <laughs> Maggie broke that. Okay, so the baby is fine. Well, apparently the face painting didn't go that well. Roman oh, no, oh, I, I didn't want to do that again. Oh, okay. He went for it. Romantic. Um, compliment his appearance. Romantic compliment personality. Romantic amorous hug. No, they're watching the stars. I don't, I, I don't know if you can see any stars. It's very cloudy. Because it's raining pretty hard. It is always raining here. Romantic. Okay, stop watching the stars. You two are going to get pee pneumonia. Get a little pneumothorax action. Pneumothorax? Yeah, we'll go with that. What are you doing, Anson? 
We're working at something here. I think she's okay. Alright, why don't you two go home? Go home after this. <laughs> Elizabeth, you are looking fly. <laughs> These two are jogging home. She's stuck. Okay, go ahead. Yep, the babysitter, you're all set. Alright, why don't you change outfits into your sleepwear? Just come on home, get ready for bed. Change. Alright, let's wait till she gets there. Change outfit into. I guess sleepwear. He's gonna go put him in the crib. Maggie is going to. She wants to read something. But, you know what we're gonna do? You put him in the crib? Alright. Come on up here, and let's go ahead. Romantic. Come on and compliment him. They're both comfy and dry now. Romantic. Amorous hug. And Maggie really wants to hook up. Like, she really wants to hook up, but I'm not gonna- this is still a challenge, you know, of sorts, so I'm not gonna just give her the easy way out. She's gotta actually- get this going properly with him. He's like, no, I'm sorry, I have to pee. I have to pee so bad. I gotta pee so badly. I'm gonna pee right here. And you two going down here to do this? Okay, what are we... Be hugged. See, I'm having her initiate it because she sometimes gets a little wonky. Um, let's try a heat of the moment kiss. I don't think it'll work, but we'll see. Oh. Alright, apologize. I didn't think it would work, but finally, apologize. Funny. Make a silly face. Funny. Show a funny video. This is the episode where we work on their relationship. <laughs> And he's doing okay, so we'll flirt with him again. We'll just tell him he looks good, and he is good, and we like his personality, and we think he's cool. And we want to hug him. And, yeah. And then we'll... Let me get this all set up again, and then we will end this part. So it might run a little long. Well, let's try this. Romantic. Amorous hug. Romantic. Compliment him. You can't go skinny dipping. I know you have sort of like a semi pool on your lot, but but that doesn't it doesn't work that way. We're just gonna alternate. Romantic. Compliment his appearance. She's like, I know this is shallow, but you look damn fine. More. Hold hands. That's innocent. That's sweet. Romantic. Confess attraction. Romantic. Um, amorous hug. And then romantic. Let's just go for their first kiss. She won't want to move too fast with him, but they had a nice time. And they'll do their first kiss, and then I've got to feed them and get them ready for bed. Aww. And since that went so well, they're just gonna make out for a minute and then propose going steady. She's like, okay, so I've had some issues with guys in the past, but I really, I want to make this thing exclusive, at least until we figure out exactly where we are. Okay, first propose going steady and then go eat. She's like, you wanna, you wanna be my dude? 
Hmm. Okay. Go mm -hmm. eat. He's creeped out. You're not creeped out. Well, who am I to tell you how you feel? So, yeah. I always get a little bummed when it's time to, to finish this and... Oh, nope. What's wrong with the what's wrong with the refrigerator? What's going on here? Eat leftover peach pancakes. And then what does he want to do? He wants to make out with Maggie. Mm, we won't worry about that right now. You go here. Yeah, this and like my all my series, whenever I get into the flow of recording them, I always get bummed out when I don't, when like the alarm goes off, I'm like, oh, I want this episode to keep going, but I also want uh, the people who start the episodes to be able to finish said episodes. So, you know, that's where we run into an issue. They're both going to work on the car tomorrow. You come on in here and eat leftover waffles. And I'm sure it'll be wonderful if she tells... It's like if her father asks, hey, how are you doing with my child? And she's like, well, you know, I'm living in this house that's derelict and I've got, uh, we're fixing it up, but I've got a boyfriend and I've only known him a few days and I think I'm kind of in love with him and it's, uh, it's freaking me out. Oh, is she stuck? Um, we're gonna go ahead and end the date. They had a good time. You're not going to pillow fight. I hate that interaction. You're not going to get a shuffleboard. But they both want to give gifts to each other. So let me see if I can get them into bed before we end this episode. Okay, I guess he wants to go work on that. So you work on the car. All right, so this is me shutting up. We are officially done. Thank you so much for watching. Um... And, uh, yeah, I guess we've, we're, we're going with Anson. Um, for those of you, hopefully you're all okay with that. I think, um, you know, I think it's just, it's just going to be easier than trying to get Seneca and Dave. I mean, Seneca was, was pretty, aw, oh, they're going to sleep in the same bed. Seneca was pretty comfortable with it, but... You know, it was it was getting difficult. Oh man, so cute. Okay, so Maggie finally has someone who loves her and uh wants to take care of her. I mean Davy Davy loved her in his own way. Um I think Seneca had very strong feelings for her, but at the end of the day, Anson is is willing to do anything he can to make her happy and aside from that oh this fence this fence needs to be fixed. Um, and aside from that, he's just incredibly generous and devoted and good with Casper. And I think that ultimately means a great deal to our lovely mags. So we're going to go ahead and put that there. So yeah, I'm shutting up. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. And, um, Please remember to give this video a rating, and I'd love to hear from you in the comments. And I should put something out here for them. Let's put... I know, I'm like, oh, I'm ending the video. I'm going to put a... Um, yeah. I'm going to put a telescope. So, yes. Thank you so much for watching. Again, please remember to leave a rating, and I'd love to hear from you in the comments. And April can't find a telescope because she's good at life. And she's the best at life. And there we go. That's that's that. <laughs> there we go. Thank you again. And I will see you next time. Bye.